Good afternoon. Mike Beard out and about again, traveling around the uh, greater Jefferson County area, visiting with different members, uh, finding out a little bit more about what goes on behind those front doors that unless you walk inside, you don't have an idea sometimes. So here we are today at, this thing does this to me every time, turn around. <laughs> Boom, there it goes. Tony Welt, State Farm, your local State Farm agent. Good afternoon, Tony. Well, good afternoon, you. Uh, good afternoon, Mike, and to the Facebook world. And to the Facebook world of the Greater Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce. Tony, uh, we drew your name out, or you won the uh, live feed opportunity, which is quite an honor, oh, by the way, uh, down at uh, the uh, One Stop Flooring America Business After Hours. You came down and joined us, and we greatly appreciate that. And we spun a wheel, and you won a live feed, so you're stuck with me for a few minutes. All right? All right, cool. Hey, tell me a little bit about who Tony is and about your relationship relationship with State Farm and just your relationship in general with the community in Jefferson County? Well, for the most part, I've lived here all of my life. High school graduate, uh, tried to go out of Mount Vernon for a year or two after college and thought I was going to go save the world down in Texas and, and, and learned that uh, uh, Southern Illinois is really probably my home and, and, and it's where I need to, to grow my business. I uh, did a few things uh, as, as a young adult and landed in the financial services industry a long time ago. I uh, learned a lot about um, how to help people with their money, uh, not just the insurance side, but also helping them save for retirement, helping their banking world, long-term care, those kind of things as well. Uh, that led me to State Farm. And I spent six years uh, traveling around, helping every State Farm agent from Champaign to Cairo with people uh, just like you and I that have some insurance needs and I'd be the, be the consultant they brought in. After a few years of doing that, I realized that sitting in my own chair uh, is the best uh, opportunity for me. So in my hometown, uh, an agency opening occurred and I was fortunate enough to be selected and eight years later, here I am. Here, and it seems like they're stuck with you now, huh? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Okay. So uh, how many people do you have working for you, and uh, what does the future look like for State Farm in the insurance industry? Okay, so uh, right now I have three uh, licensed uh, sales representatives that work for me. I have uh, Lisa and Leslie and Ross. Uh, all three have been with me for quite some time. Actually, Leslie has been with State Farm uh, for over 20 years, and Lisa has almost been that as well. I'm currently looking for one other person to join my team as well. Um, four full-time is what I'm looking for. Uh, but uh, although my name is on the door, uh, they have a license to be able to do anything uh, that I can do, and, and I could not be in this chair without them. So I'm very grateful. Yeah. You mentioned as you were going through uh, some of your history about you had some banking experience and some financial investments and experience. State Farm offers all those products right here under one behind one door, don't they? We, we do. And, you know, the investment world uh, is changing um, uh, in the years to come. So we're really not sure how that's going to shake out. Uh, but um, with uh, insurance, uh, naturally leads people to be thinking about uh, their future. Uh, the, the mission statement of State Farm is certainly helping protect the risks of everyday life, helping people recover from the unexpected, and helping them realize their, or realize their dreams. And with that comes some planning and uh, sitting down with us. Um, I, call, I call it the Sam Walton effect. I mean, Sam Walton changed the retail world. Uh, mm -hmm. one-stop shop, and, right. and State Farm has brought into that and allow us as agents to be able to help pretty much everything uh, for middle America. Yeah. Now, needless to say, State Farm does an enormous amount of advertising on television, at baseball games. They've got uh, the Illinois uh, basketball gym now is the State Farm gym, or whatever they call it. Uh, so they do a lot of advertising on a national and probably worldwide basis as, as big as they are because they are the number one insurance company in the United States of auto and home insurance. At least they were at one time. Presume they still are. And I'm sure they attribute a lot of that to their advertising. Tell me about what you do here locally from an advertising standpoint. They are the number one in, uh, auto insurance company and have been for years. They are the number one homeowners insurance company. They recently have, have reached the title of the number one life insurance company as well. They have not done that uh, by themselves. Uh, we have an agency force of 18,000 that certainly drives uh, a lot of that. Um, what you see on television, 
uh, most of the time corporate uh, is taking care of that branding for us. But on a local level, for agents like myself, it's um, our decision as to the different mediums that we use. A newspaper, a radio, a magazine, our online access uh, to, mm -hmm. to our own website. It's a hands-on man. Yeah, we like to think so. <laughs> you know, one of the most unique things that, that, that I did uh, to set myself apart was the Jeep. Uh, it was kind of happened by accident, but it may be the greatest thing that I've ever been able to do marketing wise. Uh, in this community, certainly they know what the Jeep looks like, and if they see it pull up in their neighborhood, they know what I'm there for. Exactly. There, there's no question about what's this, what's this vehicle doing in our neighborhood. Right. The State Farm is a, from the bottom front to the top back on both sides. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And I love it too. I'm, in fact, I'm green with envy that I didn't come up with it with my insurance agency when I was doing it. But now, also, uh, you're involved with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I, go I ahead. Am. I'm a board member, have been for years. Uh, I am following in the footsteps of Joe Gliosi, so next year uh, I'll be uh, be the president for next year. So I, I, I'm interested in not just my own agency, but I'm also interested in helping grow uh, the chamber of, of the greater Jefferson County area. Okay. You know right now, because the gentleman has been to come up and talk to you, that we're in the process of, uh, of selling ads for the revised or the updated version of this Jefferson County magazine that we hope to have on the streets by next March. Are you an advertiser in this, and what are your thoughts on this? I, I have. I, I've done it uh, the last couple of times that we've printed this booklet, and, and uh, selfishly, I would like to grow my agency because of that. Uh, but the unique thing this year that, that we're going to be able to offer is an electronic version of that. And a lot of um, our marketing doesn't happen in a newspaper anymore. Uh, it, it happens on a computer or on a phone. And, and my interest in this magazine is going to be not just the print, but also the electronic copy of it. Okay. Um, we have a guest with us here today. To Tony, we have Mr. Larry Henry, who's been sitting here patiently uh, listening to us ramble back and forth. Larry is a Mount Vernon grad and a, uh, a proud uh, Shagnon Jim follower and uh, a Ram, uh, a Ram uh, fan to the nth degree. Uh, went out to the East Coast and opened up a business um, uh, publishing magazines. Retired, came back home to Southern Illinois, and is now working with Town Square, the company that we're using for this. And I understand that he's came and visited with you, and uh, you all are in process of working on an ad? Yes, we've actually just uh, concluded the, the uh, securing the ad space that I'm going to be in. Okay, and my understanding was one of the things that enticed you the most was the electronic version of the ad, the, the book that we're going to be able to put out. Larry, tell us what this amounts to. Well, um, I have a long history in publications. I uh, did grow up here, uh, was born here and grew up here and graduated high school. Um, and then I went in my career and unlike Tony, I was too dumb to stay here. So it took me a long time to get back into God's country, Southern Illinois. But I'm here now, and I'm happy to work uh, with the Chamber on uh, their uh, publication. Uh, the company that I work for is Town Square Publishing. We do hundreds of these types of publications. But my background is both in consumer and in trade magazines. And I'm trying to bring that to bear to expand the outreach of this magazine beyond what has been done in the past. Um, the publication that you did show um, is, uh, um, um, yeah, this mm -hmm. one. Um, and, and this looks much like uh, the publications uh, that, uh, that my, my company does also, although we didn't do that one. We will... Uh, be doing, as I said, a lot of them in Southern Illinois, and I'll be involved in those. Um, a publication, a magazine in particular, is only as good as the content and, and the number of people it reaches. So if we get the content, and I know, Mike, that you have a whole bunch of people. I'm right. also involved in, right. in, in the content. Uh, but uh, the, um, uh, the other thing is distribution. And you can, you can produce five to 10,000 print copies, and those will go so far. This publication has a shelf life of two years. But the magic occurs when you take that and create an online version of it. Uh, and the way that will work, and uh, we're gonna be working on getting 
all members like Tony and all the 400 people that are members of the of the local chamber uh, to have a link given to them and they will send that link to this publication and it is a publication you go up there and you can turn the pages uh, there won't be advertising in it when you touch the ad it will take you to um, like Tony's ad it will take you to um, his website um, so it is it, it really is a proactive way of getting people to read about Jefferson County um, and uh, the whole premise of this publication is to get people to visit, live, work, and play in Jefferson County. So uh, that being said, the more people we impact in Illinois and outs outside the state, mm -hmm. the better. Yeah. The link has no boundaries. Uh, so uh, if Tony wants to send that to a thousand of his customers uh, by email, or beyond that. Uh, we have um, Continental Tire in Jefferson County. We have two major hospitals here. They have thousands of patients at both hospitals um, and, and, and a way to outreach and a lot of uh, emails. They will send that out. Uh, Continental Tire has 3,300 employees that live in the area, so they will get it. And on and on and on. And pretty soon, we're not talking about five or 10,000 copies of this publication. We're talking about 50,000 or more. Mm -hmm. That impact uh, will help us all promote Jefferson County. And that's uh, the publication that we will be doing is double this, the, the old size, chiefly because the marriage between the print and the digital opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, my understanding, our contract with Town Square is we're going to print, we're going to print seven thousand originally, right. uh, but then this uh, additional uh, electronic version kind of came after the fact. But uh, there's no additional charge for the electronic version on the advertising. When when uh, when Tony buys his ad, that's going to give him X amount of copies of the hard copy right. plus unlimited uh, electronic copies. Correct? Yeah, uh, it gives him the opportunity of greatly promoting uh, his business. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, and and if all 400 members, whether you're an advertiser or not, if mm -hmm. you're a member of the chamber, you're going to get the link. Right. And um, you can use that to promote where you live, Jefferson right. County. And there's an old Navy saying, uh, all ships rise on a rising tide. We don't have a lot of tides here in the central part of the United States. But the idea is all of us working cooperatives, cooperatives together to promote Jefferson County uh, will promote the tourism and uh, uh, and and people interest of living and working here okay and well, in the interest of time, I need to cut it short because sometimes these videos get a little long and people quit watching them. So we don't want that to happen. So, Tony, thank you for your time and uh, congratulations on winning the uh, uh, live feed. I hope it didn't hurt too bad. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And Larry, thank you very much for uh, coming I to Mount Vernon and, and uh, contacting as many of our members as possible and giving them an opportunity to learn a little bit more about what the cost of advertising might be and the, the outreach that this is going to be able to have done. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, let me get this back and we'll close her down. There you have it, straight from Tony Wilt's office on uh, South uh, 42nd Street, or on Water Tower and 42nd Street, uh, right beside across the street from Goodwill. And uh, Larry's up here uh, working today and every day, contacting all of our members. If you'd like to advertise, you can contact the chamber office at 242-5725 and say, hey, send Larry my way. I want to learn more about this book and the electronic feed that this is going to offer. So without further ado, thank you very much for following us. Have a great Chamber of Commerce day.